Hey guys, today we're going to go over EQ tips and tricks with kick and bass. Uh, for me, the, this is one of the most important things that I learned from the beginning. And this is what actually led to a, just being called back uh, for more jobs. And that is making sure that the bottom end is clean. So let's, let's listen to this track uh, and then I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Sounds clean, nothing that really stands out. So let's focus on the kick and bass. The great thing about this track is that Throughout the song, the bass is, is very sparse. But for example, on the hooks, you have the bass and the kick. So how, how, what do you do in order to, to, you know, to separate these? The first thing that I would do is make sure that uh, one of these is winning. Either the bass is winning on the frequency spectrum or uh, the kick. Now, from what I hear he, right now, there's more transient on the kick than on the bass. What do I mean by this? There's not a lot of tra transient, especially if it's a synth bass. And then if you hear uh, the kick, perfect, awesome. So what I would do is bring up an EQ, our parametric EQ. Let's, let's start cleaning out the bottom, right? automatically hear the difference bring up that you know a little bit of you know like the high 3k for just add a little a little bit more um, a little bit more definition now in the bass now with this synth what we're gonna do is try to do the opposite right because you know we already have we already stated that the bass wins the battle on the kick and in, in the Base, right so let's do this start cleaning this up we might want to clean it out with with the lines but the line uh, that it does it's so fast that it, even if we try so our hardest to bring that up, it really wouldn't be worth it. Always when you're mixing, try to pick and choose your battles. That's something as well that really has been great for my career is, is pick your battles on what you want to do, um, both mixing and audio, things like that. difference let's do a let's do a before and after before right they kind of both sit in the same spectrum after you hear how it automatically it, it, the bass became uh, a cushion now the kick is on top you feel it more uh, and just imagine when you add in the drums it's just it's not only it's, it's just gonna make it that much better right and then I, I see the bass as our you know our our pillow it's, it's gonna take us throughout the, the hook and so yeah guys that is the EQ tip and trick on how to make uh, the bass and the kick stand out take care Thank you.